The 800 Series Deluxe Dog Door is available in gray finish and consists of the 850 and 860 models with four-way locking and 851 and 861 infrared models with infrared key. The 860 with four-way locking also has an additional security locking barrier, as does the 861 infrared model. You may wish to have a second pair of hands. However, the door can be installed by just one person. Your 800 series deluxe dog door consists of the following components. Inner frame with flap, an outer frame, an additional security barrier with the 860 and 861 models, an infrared key and the key's first battery included with the 851 and 861 models, a hardware packet consisting of bolts and hexagonal nuts, two black lock handles, and user's guide. The 851 and 861 will require four AA batteries, which are not included. To begin installation, you should have the following tools available. A tape measure, a pencil, a straight edge ruler, a level, a drill, and 4.5 millimeter or 3 16 inch drill bit, sandpaper, a screwdriver, a jig or keyhole saw, a hacksaw and file, safety glasses, and plastics glue. The first step is to measure your pet's belly height, and you'll want to do this near where the pet door will be installed. Measure the distance from the pet's belly to floor level. Mark this measurement on the door where your pet door will be installed. Place the bottom of your stay well door at that height. Using it as a template, draw around it. Make sure your lines are level and centered on the door as you would like it. Wearing your safety glasses, drill a hole at each corner of your rectangle. Be sure you go all the way through your door. Using a jigsaw or keyhole, cut along the lines in between each hole and remove the cutout from the door. Once finished, smooth out any rough edges with sandpaper. Your Stay Well Pet door is fitted with two four-way locks for use from the inside of your door. Snap the two black locking handles onto the spindles on the inner frame to unlock the flap. If your door has a safety barrier, remove it by turning the locking handles downward toward the inside of the frame and press downward on the security barrier to release the locks. Under the U-shaped swinging frame, you will see six bolt holes. If this frame does not release right away, turn the locks to release it. Take the inner frame, the one with the flap attached, and insert it into the newly cut hole. Make sure the curved edge is at the top. Use the pencil to mark where the screw holes will be drilled on your door. Remove the pet door frame and drill through the holes with a 5 mm or 3 16 inch drill bit, making sure your drill is straight and level. Drill all the way through the door. You are now ready to install the pet door. Remove the top cover from the inner frame by pushing up on the two paw prints with your thumbs and then remove the flap. Now here's where another pair of hands comes in handy. Holding the inner frame in the correct position, put a bolt into each of the holes. You may need to cut the bolts to size and file to ensure there are not sharp edges. From the outside of the door, insert the hexagonal nuts into the holes provided as far as they will go until they lock in the hexagonal housing. Once locked in position, line up the holes with the protruding bolts and attach the frame to the door. Tighten the bolts a little at a time until both frames become flush with the door. Be sure to experiment with this lock, making sure you understand each position. The four-way lock means the door can be operated in the following modes, in and out, in only, out only, and locked. Please listen to the following before you proceed. If you purchased an 851 or 861, you should acquaint yourself with the operation of the infrared entry lock before attempting to train your pet. Take the colored collar key in your hand and open it by twisting a coin between the two flanges. Remove plastic film from the supplied battery and insert it correctly into the collar key. Clip the two halves of the key together firmly. The key will flash three times to tell you that it's been activated and will continue to flash in approximately two minute intervals. Refer to the user's guide if you have any questions. Now put the collar key out of sight or range. Now it's time to install the batteries in your pet door frame. You will need four AA alkaline long life batteries. These batteries are not supplied. Do not use rechargeable batteries. Install the batteries in position. They are a tight fit and that's intended so don't worry. After you've powered the dog flap, the unit will emit a low tone beep and the LED will flash. This means that the dog door is ready for programming. After powering the unit and the collar key, approach the flap with the key. The red LED will stop flashing and the unit will emit a high-pitched beep. If you have more than one dog, you'll need to purchase collar keys of the same color. Your dog flap is now programmed to recognize the collar key. Replace the flap and battery cover. 
Now take the collar key and put it in range six to eight inches from the pet door and point the clear section of the capsule at the door. If you don't hear it click right away, move it around a little. You should hear the lock mechanism click. You can now push through the flap. Now try pushing through the flap without having the infrared key in your hand. See? It doesn't work. The locking bolts will not relock until the dog key is out of range of the door. Your pet door should now be reprogrammed for your collar key. When placing the collar key on your pet, the key must be attached to the collar so that it hangs forward. The latch on your dog flap has been factory set to relatch after two seconds. However, the time can be set between two and 20 seconds. The period that you set the relatch time to will depend on your own dog and your personal preference. Please refer to your user's guide. To reprogram the door, disconnect the batteries for approximately one minute. If you don't understand something, please don't hesitate to contact us. We recommend that you fully understand and can operate this infrared product prior to attempting to train or entrust your pet to do so. If you have multiple dogs or cats in your household, you will need to purchase collar keys of the same color code. They are available at the retailer where you purchased your Stay Well Pet Door or by contacting Stay Well Consumer Services at www.staywell.co.uk. You may want to power your Stay Well infrared actuated door with an optional AC-DC transformer power supply. They're available with installation instructions by contacting Stay Well Consumer Services at staywell.co.uk. Models 851 and 861 also can be used manually. To place the unit in manual mode, press the manual button. The LED will light up while the bolts open. To place the unit in automatic mode, simply press the manual button again. The LED will flash while the bolts relock. Please note that the keys must be programmed to the pet door in order to use the manual and relatch operations. If you wish to use your dog door for both cat and dog, we supply a black collar key for your cat, which will operate the dog door. Your dog must also be using a black collar key. Congratulations! You've now fully installed your Stay Well Pet Door, and you're ready to begin training your animal to use it. Remember, this is something new to your pet's home, so do not rush the training. Some pets will learn more quickly than others. First, you'll want to turn the four-way lock to the fully unlocked position. In order to coax your pet through the door without locking from the infrared collar key, the pet door must be put into manual mode. To do this, press the manual button once. The locking bolts will be inactive at this time. Fully open the door so that it won't touch or fall on your pet once they've gone through it the first time. Using a favorite snack or training treat, coax your pet through the door. This may take some time the first time around, but patiently keep coaxing until your pet goes through the opening. When your pet makes progress, give them a lot of praise, petting, and treats. They've earned it. Repeat this exercise until your pet becomes comfortable using the door opening going in both directions with the flap fully open. This will be new, so keep coaxing until they come through the door comfortably in both directions. A little treat and a lot of praise go a long way. Soon, after your pet is comfortable going through the door, activate the locking bolts by pressing the manual button once. Have your pet go through both ways until they're comfortable in doing so. Again, a little treat and a lot of praise go a long way. If at any time you have questions about your product, please know that we are always available on the World Wide Web at www.staywell.co.uk. In the U.S., we have a toll-free number, 800-521-5294. And in Europe, we can be reached at plus double four zero eight seven zero seven five three nine eight nine eight. Please remember that all Stay Well Pet Doors are guaranteed against manufacturing defects for three years and spare parts are readily available from staywell.co.uk. Thank you for buying Staywell, the world's favorite pet door.